Let me give you a different perspective on some of the damage that Hurricane Matthew caused here in Daytona Beach Shores. The iconic Sun Glow Fishing Pier had a lot of damage from that storm. Let me take you back 180 feet to show you how much of this pier was taken during that storm. When this camera shot stops, that's the very end of the pier. That's how much damage we're talking about. The man who owns this pier and owns the restaurant at the other end says that people have been coming here for years. They love this pier. So to see this damage is just heartbreaking. He himself came here before he opened this place up. So he's hoping that he can rebuild it and bring it back for the people who have been coming here for years. So let me give you another perspective on the surfers that are out here today. It did not take them long after that storm to get back in the water. They actually couldn't wait. One surfer even told me he wished he could have been out here yesterday before right at the very end of the storm to catch the waves. But one thing they're going to have to do today that's a little bit different is keep an eye out for the debris, all the debris that came off of this pier. There's going to be a lot of wood in the water. So they're keeping a close distance, but we're telling them to be careful and stay back if they can. Now, as we bring you back in towards the pier, we're still going to give you a, another different perspective to show you just how bad this damage is. You can kind of see from the side. This is more than half of the pier that's gone here, so it's going to take them some time to get it rebuilt, but they're hoping that by Monday they can get the restaurant that's down at the other end back open so customers can come back out. Reporting in Daytona Beach Shores, Lauren Seabrook, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. This iconic fishing pier took a hard hit from Hurricane Matthew. Let me give you a different perspective. When this shot stops, that's 180 feet from where I'm standing, and that is where the end of this pier used to stand. The nails and construction of this Daytona Beach icon proved to be no match for the force of Hurricane Matthew. The storm created monster waves the wood just couldn't compete with. At least nobody got hurt. All my employees are gone. You know, we, cl we closed up even a day earlier. Owner Luke Zona knows the risk of having a pier and restaurant on the water, but that didn't make this reality any easier. Uh, it made me sad. I grew up here since I was five years old and uh, I've been running it now for 24 years. Um, so uh, it's, it's disheartening. Luke and many others who have been coming here for years underestimated the damage until they saw it up close. The Atlantic Ocean gobbled up 180 feet off the end of the pier. 180? Oh, wow, that's even more. Surfers like Colin Jeans couldn't wait to get back in the water, but do have some concerns about riding post Matthew waves where the fishing pier wiped out. Mainly floating debris, but as uh, hard as the winds are going offshore, it should mainly push most of it out. The damage will likely cost thousands to fix, but Luke says what Matthew took down will go back up to give you a walk on the ocean once again. I don't know how far we'll go. You know, it's a lot, of, a lot of money to put back out there for another hurricane to take, so, but. We gotta have a fish up here, though. As you can see from this perspective, more than half the pier was ripped away by that hurricane. So it's going to take some time to rebuild, but the owner says he definitely will, and he's hoping to have his restaurant at the other end open by Monday. Mm -hmm. Reporting in Daytona Beach Shores, Lauren Seabrook, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.